Hello, I'm Pep Williams and here's my experience on sharing with you my photo project I did in Cuba. Wow, the trip came about. It was basically my friend Lawrence Davis. Um, he's really big in um, Cuban cigars out of London and he's, he's like the premier of cigars and he, he invited me out to actually go out there to shoot because he wanted to shoot a series of like cigars with women, with people, with this and that or whatever and it turned out really cool. It was really cool but it's all thanks to Lawrence Davis. All this talk about Cuba, it just has me missing something. So hold on one second. You can't talk about Cuba without having a Cuban cigar. So every time I have one of these, it just takes me back. And just that experience of hanging out in Cuba with the people, just having great food, good times, you know, great conversation. It just takes me back every time I have a Cuban. And one of the best parts about Cuba for me was actually shooting on the, well, shooting in the fields, shooting in the tobacco fields. And it was just truly, truly, truly amazing. And then to have one here in America, even though they're pretty much almost impossible to get, you know, when you know a few people, it makes it easier. But having a Cuban talking about Cuba, I can't think of any other way to do it. Shooting in the tobacco fields were one of the best experiences I've ever had shooting because I had full access um, and I just didn't want to go to Cuba to shoot the normal things that people shoot. Like, you know, the cars are amazing, the buildings, architecture, people are amazing as well, but to actually shoot in the fields, in the dirt, with the workers harvesting the leaves, that's what I wanted. And that's what Lawrence Davis made happen for me. And we were at the uh, Vegas uh, Robana uh, farm. And just so happened they were harvesting. And it just made it perfect. It was around 110 degrees. And I was out there with the guys in the dirt, getting sweaty, grimy, and they never missed a beat. And it was just beautiful. It, how they all work together and they have been working together for decades and everyone just like knew everyone and it was just a beautiful thing to see. The people of Cuba, I would have to say of all the places I've been in the world, um, definitely top five. The people are so genuine, they're just so kind and giving. Of course, many don't speak English, some do, but language doesn't matter. Um, like love is love and they just showed it and they show it in their daily lives. Be it from making the food, from rolling a fine Cuban cigar to anything. There's just this happiness, this warmth, this love that's actually a part of everything what they do. Wow, the cars. The cars are very, very amazing. It's like flashback, time warp thing. I think almost every single person in Cuba is an engineer because they fabricate so many things to keep those cars going from aluminum to steel to whatever because there's really no American parts being like shipped over. So they have to maintain these cars and remember these cars are from the 50s, so you're basically born into creating and building and basically figuring it out. And then seeing them on the road, it just blows me away. I mean, the colors, the pinks, the greens, the blues, and they take so much good care of their cars out there. And especially the ones that are kind of taxis. They're like taxis out there. and. They're practically flawless. And then there's a few that are actually, they're, they're actually good enough for showrooms here. But when you look under the hood, it's a whole different 
world. <laughs> it's a whole different beast. I was left with basically, I don't even think I was left with so much left with anything. It's more that just every, everywhere you go, there's just amazing people and um, Cuba just happens to be another one. And it just goes to show you that there's amazing people all over the world. And that's what I love about traveling and doing, doing what I do, shooting all over the world and meeting amazing, amazing people.